In this video lecture, we will be solving another problem in which we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between the vertices on one edge of a cube. So basically, we have given a cube in which 12 resistors are connected on the edges of this cube. And we are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B or simply we can say that the equivalent resistance between the vertices on one edge of this cube. So, for the simplification purposes, I already give names to these nodes, which is E, H, G, F, C, and D. And we will be solving this network by using the rules of symmetry and equipotential. So, we have already discussed in the previous video's lectures that what is symmetry in the complex circuits. Now, if you analyze this network briefly, then you will see that point E and D are symmetrical points because Point E and point D are at the same distance from point A and point E and D are at the same distance from point B. And the same is the case for these two points, point F and C. Because point F and C are at the same distance from point B and point F and C are at the same distance from point A. So we can say that there exists a symmetry between point E and D and between point F and C. So we can say that these two points are equipotential points and these two points, point F and C are equipotential point. So we can simply say that point E and D are equipotential points and point F and C are equipotential points, equipotential points because of the symmetry. So the potential at point E is the same as the potential at point D. So we can combine these two points and the potential at point F is the same as the potential at point C. So we can combine these two points due to the symmetry. So now let's redraw the simplified version of this complex problem. So let's consider if this point is point A. This point is point A. And this point represents this point E and D. This point E and D because these two points are at equipotential points so we can combine these two points and now let's say this point represent this point F and C point F and C because these two points are also equipotential points due to the symmetry now this point let's say this point represent this point H and this point represent this point G and finally we have the point B point B so in between point A and D, we have this resistor R. Point A and D, we have this resistor, which is R. And in between point A and E, we have this resistor R. Between point A and D, we have this resistor, which is R. Now in, now in between point E and F, we have another resistor. Point E and F, we have another resistor R. Another resistor R. And in between point D and C, we have this resistor R also. Point D and C, we have another resistor R. Now in between point E and H, we have this resistor R. And between point D and H, we have another resistor R. We have another resistor R. And in between point H and G, we have this single resistor R. Between point H and G, we have this single resistor R. Now in between point F and G, we have this resistor R. And in between point C and G, we have another resistor R. Now in between point F and B, point F and B, we have another resistor R. And in between point C and B, we have another resistor R. Between point C and B, we have another resistor R. And finally, we have a resistor which is connected between point A and B. We have a resistor which is connected between point A and B. So now this is basically the simplified version of this complex problem. And now we can use the rules of series circuits and parallel circuits to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and B. So now if you look at into this simplified version, then you will see that these two resistors are in parallel. And these two resistors, these two resistors, these two resistors, and these two resistors are also in parallel. 
So the equivalent resistance of these two resistors is let's say 1 divided by Ra is equals to 1 divided by R plus 1 divided by R. So Ra from this equation will be equals to R divided by 2. So let's replace these two resistors, these two resistors, these, these and these two resistors by its equivalent resistance. By its equivalent resistance of R divided by 2, R divided by 2, R divided by 2, R divided by 2 and R divided by 2. So now if you analyze this network again then you will see that these three resistors are connected in series. So the equivalent resistance of these three resistors is let's say Rb will be equals to R divided by 2 plus R divided by 2 plus R. So the equivalent of these three resistors will be equals to 2R. So now let's replace these three resistors by its equivalent resistance of 2R. its equivalent resistance of 2R. So now if you look at again into this network then you will see that these two resistors are connected in parallel. So the equivalent resistance of these two resistors is let's say 1 divided by RC is equals to 1 divided by R divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2R. So RC from this equation will be equals to 2 divided by 5 into R. So now let's replace these two resistors by its equivalent resistance of 2 divided by 5 into R. Its equivalent resistance of 2 divided by 5 into R. So now if you analyze again this network then you will see that these three resistors are connected in series. So the equivalent resistance of these three resistors is let's say RD will be equals to R divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 5 into R plus R divided by 2. So Rd from this equation will be equals to 7 divided by 5 into R. So now let's replace these three resistors by its equivalent resistance of 7 divided by 5 into R. Its equivalent resistance of 7 divided by 5 into R. So now in between point A and B we have these two resistors which are connected in parallel. So the equivalent resistance 1 divided by RAB will be equals to 1 divided by R plus 1 divided by 7 divided by 5 into R. So the equivalent resistance from this equation RAB will be equals to 7 divided by 12 into R. So this is basically the equivalent resistance on the one edge of this cube. Or simply we can say that this is the equivalent resistance between point A and point B. So it's all for today's presentation. If you have any doubt, ask in the comment section. In the next video lecture, we will be discussing the equivalent resistance between the vertices on the phase diagonal of this cube, on the phase diagonal of this cube. So see you in the next one.